Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It's Friday, December the 30th. Today is National Bacon Day. Oh, what a great day. I think I should I do have love called bacon. in. I don't know Not very many people who don't today. love bacon, or yeah. at least the smell of bacon. Oh, yeah. I actually talked to a person who decided to be a vegetarian, and when they switched over and did that, I asked, is it hard? And they said, you know, the only thing I miss is bacon. Right. <laughs> I thought that was really oh, funny. Oh, I bet. Uh, Falling Needles Family Fest Day today, National Bicarbonate of Soda Day today, and No Interruptions Day today. You know what that means? What's that? It, 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 no interruptions, Heidi. Okay. That's what it means. Uh, also, I have... I'm so stupid. That <laughs> dumb little joke. That didn't even work out because <laughs> I interrupted you. Uh, I also have a guest joining me today, but I will not interrupt her. Um, Emiazzi Cornaldi, I think is how you say it, and uh, seems like a nice young lady. I'm excited to chat with her. Uh, she's got a new program called Reasonable Doubt. We're going to chat all about that coming up. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Every little bit of physical activity helps when it comes to avoiding severe COVID-19. Those who were more physically active before being diagnosed with COVID, even those with chronic illness, had a lower risk of severe outcomes according to a large-scale study presented in the American Journal of Preventative Medicine. It says people who were consistently inactive were 191% more likely to be hospitalized and 391% more likely to die than those who were consistently active, no matter their age or ethnicity. The researcher said, according to uh, Deborah Young, who is the lead author, we need to view physical activity as a pandemic mitigation strategy. So she's saying, hey, you want to be better? Get out and be active. And I'll tell you, here's the cool thing. Even if you don't get sick, it's good to get out well, and be active. Well, just being active yeah. is going to make you healthier it's in gonna general. It's going to help in a lot of ways. So whether you uh, have a vaccine or not a vaccine, if you're a little more active, it's going to help uh, everybody. So it's a good thing. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50 15 one, five. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a mint intervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know? If you want a delicious, sustainable dinner, consider swapping your red meat with spirulina. With what? what? That is. I don't know. Research from Israel suggests a daily diet that includes blue-green algae. Oh. Oh. <laughs> can boost your health and slow down climate change. Spirulina Gosh. algae is considered a superfood for its rich protein, iron, and essential fatty acid content. Compared to beef, spirulina, S-P-I-R-U-L-I-N-A. How would you say that? Spirulina? I don't. I wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I really have no need to ever that's say a, that. That's a good ever. answer. How would you say that? I wouldn't. <laughs> it's a far superior health food choice and would serve as a sustainable meat substitute. The stuff is cultivated in Iceland, which study authors say could be the site for future mass production. Spirulina. S-P-I-R-U-L-I-N-A. We don't know everything, but now <laughs> we know this. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. The 1980 romantic comedy When Harry Met Sally is one of 25 films chosen to enter the National Film Registry, a list that ranges from Disney's The Little Mermaid to an 1898 silent documentary, a Long Thought Lost, about Mardi Gras in New Orleans. Uh, also chosen this year for preservation, Marvel's Iron Man, John Waters' Hairspray, Brian De Palma's Carrie, 
and the 1950 Cyrano de Bergac, starring Jose Ferrer, whose performance made him the first Hispanic actor to win Best Oscar. Registry is housed in the Library of Congress, which selects movies for preservation based on their cultural and historic importance. How would you like to be the one that gets to pick the movies for that? 25 films a year, they stick in there. I guess I kind of just assumed everything was preserved, right? Well, I, mean, I don't know, but it's not all put on the National Film Registry. Okay. So, there you go. Now you know. Big Screen, Little Screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. Whether from stress or from cold weather or simply falling out of good habits in terms of eating and sleeping and drinking, heart attack rates spike as much as 40% this week between Christmas and New Year. Yikes. Yeah, 40%, according to cardiologist Dr. Donald Lloyd-Jones, chair of preventative medicine at Chicago's Northwestern University of Feinberg School of Medicine. He said that looking at heart attack rates, we see fairly consistent rates week by week, with two exceptions. One is that there's a broad, shallow dip in the summer months, and two, there's a spike of about 30 to 40% the last couple weeks of the year. Hmm. Lloyd-Jones feels that in addition to things like excessive food and alcohol and cold temperatures this time of year, the spike could also be a result of a lot of stress from traveling, from preparing for holidays as well as the extra exertion of doing things like shoveling snow and whatnot. So that's not good. No. That is something, by the way, that uh, is is a big problem for a lot of people. Like that's a... So if this is something that runs in your family, be super careful. Yeah. I mean, don't overexert, don't overdo things because, you know, and this is something that's near and dear to me. My dad had a heart attack and died at age 49. Yeah. And as I get a little older and a little older and I'm getting closer to that age, my brother Jason is 50 now. When he, when he was 49, he it, it freaked him out a lot. Yeah. And I'm sneaking right up on that age. And I'm trying to take better care of myself. And I don't want to do what I usually do, which is a New Year's resolution that lasts a week or two. And then I'm like, oh, I'm done. So uh, trying to trying to just kind of keep an eye on that and hopefully not have that happen. So. But apparently this week is a a rough week for it, so be careful out there. Scoop of the Day comes your way, courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a Mintervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at Mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at Mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at Mintervention.com. That's Mintervention.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Friday. Our guest today, Emiazzi Cornaldi. I just love saying that name. I could just say your name over and over and over, but I won't because we've got to talk about Reasonable Doubt. It's on Hulu. It's streaming right now. People are absolutely loving this program. They are. They are into it. And it is, it is a lot of fun to just hear all of the comments and the feedback because people really do love it. Now, Emiazzi, I was reading that you almost didn't even do this program. Is that true? Yes. Yes, I was signed up, almost ready to go for another project, um, and my team was insistent that I read it, and I was insistent that I did not read it because I was fine with the other project, and um, finally I, I gave in, and once I read it, that was that was it, that changed everything, and um, here we are today, you know, because I, I was, there was no way I wasn't going to be able to not do this, um, because everything that... I think everyone experiences and watching the pilot. That's what was on the first page when I read it. And um, it was just so electric. You know, there, there was an energy to the show that really has translated onto the screen. Um, and, and I could not 
be a part of that. Um, so I had to figure out how to do it, and then here we are. That is absolutely awesome. Now, do you think this will have like another season, two seasons, three, four, five, or can we even talk about that? I suppose. You know, we have our fingers crossed for a second season, so we shall see in due time. But until then, as many people, you know, that watch as is possible is going not only going to help, but going to. Um, you know, allow everyone to be on the journey with us. And one of the things that I would say is really important as an audience, if we get out and watch this, more people watch this, then you would have that opportunity to have a second, maybe third, fourth. And the thing that's nice about this particular topic for Reasonable Doubt, they say, you know, it has legs. This one, you could do so many different things with this program, couldn't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, the the, the show itself, you know, it's about a woman named Jack Stewart, who is a high-powered criminal defense attorney in Los Angeles. Um, and we get to see her, you know, how she is with her in her professional life. There's um, a particular case that she ends up taking on, um, played by um, Sean Patrick Thomas. And in the interim, we get to see her living in her personal life, which is something special about the show. It's not just your standard um, courtroom drama kind of show. You know, you really get to go into her world personally and get to see how her personal life does affect um, her professional life. And that's what I love most, because all of it intersects. And we get to see this, you know, being portrayed to this this black woman, and being able to see all of her frayed edges, and the good and the bad. um, That is what I love the most about it, because we often get to see, you know, a lot of other people live their, their full existence, you know, on TV, and we don't always get to see that with, with black women. And so I, I love that, that Hulu and Onyx have um, come alongside Ramla, the, the um, showrunner and creator of the show, to put this kind of story and this woman on this platform because she's relatable to everyone, you know, regardless of, of color, you know, women trying to do it all, having careers, having families, um, having friend circles that they're trying to manage. And a lot of people, a lot of women can relate to that and try and keep all the balls in the air and not always succeeding all the time and what happens when a few of the balls drop. Yeah. Um, so that's what the, what the show is about. Absolutely. Now, Reasonable Doubt is your new series on Hulu, but you're no you're, you're no stranger to series. You've had a, a chance to do some others like uh, HBO Ballers and CBS series The Red Line, working with uh, Noah Wiley and in Ballers yes. with Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Yeah. So so you've done you've been down this road before. You know how this game works, don't you? Yes, I do. <laughs> well, and and the thing that's I fun, do. you've got such a great. I I think that the storyline, the you know everything that you're working on with with reasonable doubt. Like I said, this could go on for season after season after season, and I don't think you'd ever run out of stuff because there's always something new to do in this particular world. Absolutely, you know, she's a lawyer who's you know going to be representing clients day in and day out. You know, um, and those those clients are going to have an effect on her life day in and day out. You know, so the story can absolutely continue on. You know, and, until um, we decide where we're done with it, you know. So I look forward to what can come back to the job. I really do appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time to chat with us, and congratulations on the success you've had so far. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting the show. Again, our guest today, Emiazzi Carnaldi. The show is called Reasonable Doubt. It's available through streaming right now on Hulu. I'll throw a link to that and a, a two of the trailer as well so you can check it out. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Just one in three consumers pays off his or her credit bill, a credit card bill every month. Oh. One in three, 33%. Yeah. Do, well, it's a we good do. Idea. I know. It's a good idea to do that, too. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Greenland hosts the World Ice Golf Championships. Hazards include ice flows and frostbite. So, Whoa. Wow. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Vegas is not the largest gambling center in the world. Macaw surpassed it in gambling revenues in 2006. M A C A U. Am I saying that right? I I'm sure you are. What happens in Macaw stays in Macaw. <laughs> 
Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Ancient Greek and Roman statues were actually brilliantly colored, not bare marble or stone. Oh. So over the course of the time, they just, you know, just faded. got worn. Yeah. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? In the Middle Ages, dead bodies were often used as ammunition and catapults. Oh. Ooh. And our but final... that's a great plan. Yikes. Final fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Frogs cannot swallow without blinking. So uh... that's why Kermit the Frog can never swallow. His, <laughs> his eyes don't blink. Several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. How much do you pay for your wireless phone? Some people spend hundreds of dollars every month for their family. That's crazy! Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just $15 a month. Not 50, 15, 1, 5. Yeah, $15 a month for premium wireless. It's time for a mint intervention from Mint Mobile. You can keep your same phone number. You may even be able to keep your same phone. Find out now at mintervention.com. Learn more and sign up today at mintervention.com. Premium wireless for just $15 a month at mintervention.com. That's mintervention.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. Yay! Yay! It's brought to you by mintervention.com. Question for you, Heidi. People who have more than 100 of these live six to seven years longer on average than people who don't have one or maybe have just a few. What is it? Say it again. People People who have more than 100 of these live six to seven years longer than people who only have one or just a few. Oh, my gosh. Or none. I have no idea. Moles. Yeah. People who have more moles, 100 moles or more, they live six to seven years longer. Ew. Uh Uh-huh. Ew, indeed. (laughs) The Mitten Mobile question of the day (laughs) comes your way courtesy of... Maybe they don't. It just seems like they do. I don't know. Comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. Now some weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. Life moves pretty fast, but this car does not. An iconic prop from the movie Ferris Bueller's Day Off sold for a cool $337,000. It was a Ferrari, even though it doesn't actually drive. It's a replica Ferrari, 250 GT Californian, used in the scene where Cameron Fry accidentally causes his dad's prize ride to crash through the garage window into the woods. Since a genuine California Spider Ferrari is one of the most sought-after classic cars, producers chose to have three highly detailed copies made for the 1986 movie. The prop car was rebuilt as a display piece after production ended, and it recently sold, even though it doesn't That's drive. It was cool. just a replica. For how much? $337,000. Wow. Yeah, somebody had the money and they're going to hang it on their wall or something. I don't know Jeez. what you do. What would you do with something exactly. like that? It's a full-size car, by the way. So I, I'm not... I'm not sure. Weird news brought to you by WeirdGiftOfTheDay.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Uh, this is the 2023 best and worst cities for pastry lovers. So who do you think is the best place for a pastry lover? Which city? I would city? think Paris, France. Um, no, I think this is just in the United States. Oh. And uh, Paris is not on that list. Then uh, I don't know. I'll do the top five. Number five, Los Angeles. Four, Seattle. Three, Chicago. Two, New York. And the number one city for pastry lovers, San Francisco. Okay. How about the worst, you ask? Well, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> what are the worst, John? Jackson, Missouri. Olathe, Kansas. Pomona, California. Palmdale, California. And the worst place for pastry lovers, according to this list, Kansas City, Kansas. Okay. I don't know. I've got a link if you want to read it. it doesn't matter to me. I'm moving on. It's the list. Comes your way courtesy of BetterCreditCards.com. In good times and not so good times, it's a good idea to be responsible when it comes to spending. At BetterCreditCards.com, we're excited to see our friends like you get a better credit card to fit your needs. Some people like cards with the lowest possible interest rate. Others like cards with no annual fee. And some people like cards with points and perks to take advantage of all the extras available. Whatever you're looking for, we hope you find it at BetterCreditCards.com. Give yourself a little Credit better credit cards.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. Our quote today from Benjamin Franklin Trouble knocked at the door, but hearing laughter hurried away. 
I love that. Wow. Trouble knocked at the door, but hearing laughter hurried away. That's, that's deep. It is deep. Benjamin Franklin, by the way, was a very smart man, but he was also, I think, like... Almost, a bit insane. He was a little crazy. I read his autobiography, and there were some parts of that that I read it, and I had to stop and think, what, what did I just read? And then I'd read it again, and I'm like, did he seriously write that? <laughs> like, what is going on here? So, I don't know. Neat dude, though. But, yeah, a little bit crazy. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. This is really an awesome story, actually. Comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. Here's the, uh, the headline. A New York couple opens their home to 10 Korean tourists who were stuck in a blizzard. That's so nice. This is really kind of a neat story. Um, there were 10 tourists. The bus got stuck in the snow. And they were stuck near Buffalo, New York. Group of tourists making their way to Niagara Falls from Washington, D.C. when they found themselves in this blizzard. Two men in the group decided to knock on a door of a nearby home to ask for shovels. Their plan was to dig the bus out and keep on moving. Instead, they ended up with a warm place to stay until they could be picked up after the storm cleared. Oh, yeah, two PM I frantic. love that. It is a cool story. 2 p.m. frantic knock on the door during a worst blizzard that we've had uh, was from a Korean tour group of 10 en route to Niagara Falls from D.C. Their bus had gotten stuck uh, and remains in front of our house. A festivist surprise for all, Alexander Campagna said, and I probably said his name wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, He and his wife provided couches and sleeping bags and air mattresses, even a spare bedroom. And it says the group spent two days swapping stories and cooking with their host. They watched some NFL games, made several meals together. So we've enjoyed this so much, a member of the tour group told the New York Times, calling the experience an unforgettable one and a, quote, unique blessing. And everybody making their house an annual stop on the tours. <laughs> I'll tell you what, everybody involved in this is better off because of it, honestly. Think about the amazing experience that all of these people had. Rather than sitting in a bus going to Niagara Falls. And again, I hope they got a chance to see that too, because that's kind of cool. But how cool is this? Mm-hmm. And I love the fact that these people opened their home and said, hey, come in. It's warm. Get in here. Come inside. You know, yeah. Get some food. You guys need a place to stay. You're not going back out there. Just and kidding. I bet that that's something that's pretty rare in that area. Something that I yeah. will say, having grown up in the Midwest, where both of us grew up. Yeah, exactly. That it wouldn't even have been a question. No, no, not at all. That would be, and it uh, would not have been unusual. In no. fact, it would have been unusual if they had been turned away. And and I don't know that it would have made national news. It wouldn't have because it would have been just like no, oh. we mentioned it. Yeah, like, what happened? Yeah, well, uh, of course it did. Of course they did. What else would you do? Yeah, exactly. All right, time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show.